Hi friends, in this video we can look at how we can use the API constraint in order 15. For that, I'm just created uh, a module school management inside uh, here. I'm just created a basic form view and provided some fields. Uh, the API constraint is basically used to um, work a function when uh, the model, the value will be changed or some value we write into the field that the API constraint will work. I will show you that. Uh, we can go to the PyCharm. Uh, before that, I am just created a, a field called date of birth and age. We can calculate the uh, age based on this date of birth in the API constraint. We can go to the um, PyCharm and inside here you can see the DOB, date of birth. It's a date field and the age field is an integer field. And I am just uh, added that in the API constraint. Uh, inside this API constraint, I am just provided that date of birth field, and I am just uh, written a function to calculate the age. If we provided a field inside this uh, API constraints, at the time if a value is um, stored into the field the function will be work. I will show you that. We can just rerun this. We can go to the, um, we can create a new, um, I'm just creating a new uh, student record, uh, demo to student ID one. Okay. And here you can see the date of birth field. I'm just uh, selecting the um, year as, 99 and the um, month it's a July 16 at the time we can uh, see the age is not calculated when I am clicking on the save button the age will be calculated we can see the age will be calculated we can use the API constraints uh, like this um, we can uh, provide if we have multiple uh, fields we can provide inside this uh, constraints inside these constraints i hope you got the idea about the api constraints thank you for watching